Welcome, this is Tom DeCord with another Google for Educators Level 1 certification video. In the last video, we created a folder and also a subfolder in Google Drive. Now we're going to share the folder and subfolder with others. So the first thing I'll do is go to My Classrooms. That's the folder that we created in that last lesson. I'll open it up. If you go up here to the top, you'll see that there is an arrow pointing down to the right, and I'm going to click on it. I'll see Share. I'm going to go ahead and click on Share. So at this point, I can add people to the folder so they have access to the folder. For example, I might want to add my colleague at EdTech Teacher, Avra. So I'm typing in her email address. I also might want to add another colleague. So I'm adding in my colleague Tom, Tom Driscoll at EdTech Teacher. So I'm typing that in. So I'm adding those two. Now I have a decision as to whether they will be an editor, a commenter, or a viewer. So here's the difference. If they're a viewer, they can view the contents of the folder, but they cannot change the folder. They can see, but essentially they can't touch. Or they could be a commenter, which means they could see the documents inside and leave comments on those documents that would be visible to others who have access to the folder. Or in this case, I could make them editor, which means that, as you can see here, they can organize, they can add it, and they can edit files. So they'll have editing privilege with the folder and also with documents inside. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select editor, and then what I would do next is I would hit send. Lessons is a subfolder. And I can add access to any specific individuals I want exclusively to this subfolder. So again, I would go to share, and let's say I want to add another colleague at EdTech Teacher, Gail. So I type in Gail's email address. All right. So I've got that. I've got Gail in here. And with Gail, I'll also make her an editor. But here's the difference. Gail will have access only to the subfolder called Lessons. She will not have access to the broader folder called My Classroom. So she won't see all the files and folders that will be added to the My Classrooms folder. She will only see the Lessons folder. To give you a sense of what that would look like, let's go here. And this is a, what a recipient, in this case Gail, would look like. She would see lessons, but she would not see my classrooms. She would only see the subfolder. And then any files or folders here she could access and she could edit. 